Hello friends, today we will discuss about Siena 6500 R2 4th lot self assembly whose spec code is NTK803DA. So here you can see this is the Siena 6500 R2 4th lot self assembly. So in Siena 6500 R2 4th lot self assembly the slot 40 is fixed for the access panel you can see here this is the slot 40 you can see here this is the slot 40 access panel this slot 40 is fixed for the access panel slot 1 2 3 4 are fixed for the interface module you can see here this is a slot 1 this is a slot 2 slot 3 and slot 4 slot 41 and slot 42 is fixed for the CTM you can see here these two slots slot 41 and slot 42 is fixed for the control and timing module slot 49 consisting of slot 41 and slot 42 is fixed for the front panel for CTM module So here, Sienna 6500 R2 self-assembly ntk 3 da rear view with DC pin. So here again, the R2 self comes with the two types of power module variant, DC power module and AC power module. So in rear view, you can see uh, this slot 62 and this slot 61 is the DC power interface uh, module. Slot 51 is for the fan module. Slot 52 is the fan module. Slot 41 and slot 42 is fixed for the CTM, control timing module. So here you can see Sienna 6500 R2 self-assembly rear view with the AC pins. So what is the difference between the previous one? The only difference is that uh, in slot 61 and in slot 62, you can see here in slot 61 and slot 62, this is the AC power interface model PIM here. In this previous one, this was the DC PIMs. Slot and rest of all is same and okay. Slot 51 is for the self end module, slot 41 is for the timing and control module. You can see here slot 52 is uh, for fan module and slot 42 is for the CTM, control and timing module. These CTMs are in the redundance actually. So you can see here, you can see here this is a different AC pins with the DC pin comparison. You can see here, this uh, here in uh, slot uh, 61 and 62 there is the AC PIM and in here in the slot 61 and slot 62 this is the DC PIM. So only difference between these two variants is the AC power module and the DC power module. So there is an important point, some important points which uh, must keep in the mind that all empty slots must be filled with the filler card. It is very important to ensure adequate cooling of the R2 self components and these these important points uh, applicable on the R2 8 slot self assembly also. The R2 self supports CTM redundancy which requires two CTMs, a working CTM and a protection CTM. So here you can see there are two CTMs is used. These CTMs are in the redundancy. One CTM is always active in control the self while the other CTM is in the standby CTM. By default, you can say the slot, uh, the CTM which is in slot 41 is the active. There are two types of CTM variant, NTK 8110DA and NTK 810DB. The difference between these two types of CTM variant is that uh, the DRAM, dynamic random access memory capacity is different in these two ones. So in this first uh, variant, there is 8G DRAM and the second variant there is a 16G DRAM. Each CTM variant is equipped with the 16 GB of SSD. Both types of variant consist the 16 GB of SSD for keeping the information. Module carriers are available for one slot height and two slot height modules. So this is the PC code for the one slot height module and this is the for the two slot high modules. So there are different types of interface module side, one slot wide and one slot height. So this is the one slot wide and one slot height. This is the one slot wide and one slot height. Suppose two slot wide and one slot height. So this is the two slot wide and one slot height. So suppose one inter any interface module which equipped in all these place. So that interface module contains the two slot wide and one slot height. One slot wide and two slot height. So this is the two slot height and one slot wide. So in interface module which 
in, uh, which consist in these spaces from here to here. So that is the one slot wide and two slot height. Two slot wide and two slot height. So this is the two this complete space. This is a two slot height and two slot wide. So this is all about the CNS 8500 R2 slot self assembly. Thanks for watching.